so guys in this video we are going to learn about clausius clapeyron equation all right so in case of clausius clapeyron equation we use few uh, concept those i will share with you generally we miss those concept while studying in college most of the time i have seen this but today in this video i will try to clear all those concepts all those uh, important points those are necessary for you to understand so let's get started with it now very important right so in this case we are going we are going to consider one component right one component and two phases we are going to consider one component two phases so in this case we are considering component as water and two phases we are considering as liquid alpha liquid right and v for what vapor right for water we are considering two phases right which is important for deriving the equation right even if you have gone through degree of freedom in uh, thermodynamics maybe you have gone through this kind of things one phase one component one phase two phase one component three phases uh, one component we have done those uh, problem while finding numerical i mean while finding a degree of freedom right in this thermodynamics also but degree of freedom we also studied in theory of machine right so don't forget that too which which is really important topic for theory of machine right grubler kite and all those things you must study it now let's come back to this point so very important that is what here we are considering liquid and vapor both are in equilibrium condition both are in equilibrium condition so we know we can write the equation like this in the form of gibbs free energy that is what gibbs free energy right that is denoted by capital g l is equal to capital g v we can write like this okay l for liquid and v for vapor now one important relation you must uh, remember for deriving this equation that is what gibbs gibbs helmholtz equation you must derive this equation this equation is really important uh, to use to derive uh, clausius clapeyron equation so you must remember this equation so what is saying basically dz is equal to minus s dt plus v dp it is saying dz is equal to minus s dt plus v dp now we need to write this equation in two form one is in liquid form another is in vapor form and one most important point you need to remember this equation is applicable for reversible as well as for irreversible process you must remember this now uh, uh, what we can write basically dz l is equal to minus sl dt plus vl dp now also we can write dz v is equal to minus sb dt plus bv dp all right now as we can see here both are equal so we can write the equation like this both the equation we can write like this minus minus sl dt mind plus bl dp is equal to minus sb dt plus vv dp now what we have to do we have to separate dt term one side and dp term on the side so let me just get back this term to this side so sb dt minus sl dt is equal to vv dp minus bl dp now get common dt from here that is sb minus sl now get common from dp from here that is vv minus vl i hope you got uh, everything for till here now very important just stay tuned and uh, put your focus here so what we can do basically we can shift this term to this side that is we can write dp by dt which is required term basically right is equal to sb minus sl by vv minus vl 
now another thing we should remember for next step basically this one is almost done but we have to do another step for for getting the desired result which generally uh, which result is generally looking by the in uh, by the teacher who is uh, checking your copy right so let me tell you that also <laughs> all right so we know in case of reversible uh, transition process right reversible phase transition process we can say that right for that uh, that is what uh, temp, uh, latent heat is equal to if we will transfer heat right we will transfer heat right in that case per mole or per kg you can say that in that case l is equal to what t s b T as B minus S L S L. Therefore, what we can write basically as B minus S L is equal to L upon T. So, in the place of as B minus S L, what we can write basically L upon T uh, V V minus B L L upon T V V minus B L. I hope you can see that. So, that is our equation, and that equation is what my dear it is known as. Clausius Clapeyron equation. Also, we can write like this in the place of dB minus d dB uh, SB minus SL. That is dS is equal to dQ or Q uh, dQ upon T. Right? Maybe you, in some book you will see like this. But this one is uh, widely or worldwide known as Clausius Clapeyron equation. All right. So that's that's it for today's video. I hope you understood how to derive the equation. What are the key points you need to remember while drive the, driving the equation? So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Like this video, share with your friends, and if you are new to this channel, do subscribe. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Bye bye.